Hello everyone, my name is John Demby. I'm a Principal Solution Engineer here at Tableau and Salesforce coming to you from my hometown, Fort Worth, Texas. I'm thrilled to spend the next few minutes with you looking at some of the innovation, features, and functions you're going to find in our 2021.1 Tableau platform release. Now try to say 2021.1 five times fast. Uh, yeah, anyway, <laughs> there's too much to go here, so let's just get started. As you can see from this slide, there is so much in this release that I don't have time to go through each and every one of the components in here, but there's something for everyone, be it AI-powered uh, analytics, augmented analytics, geospatial uh, metrics, license improvements, so I would encourage you, if you don't already, go to tableau.com and what's new, search for what's new and bookmark that page because that's where you can get additional information on any topic that I don't cover in this video. Now, let's get started with AI-powered analytics. And I am super excited about this new predictive functionality that we're bringing to the Tableau platform through Einstein Discovery. This tight integration with Einstein Discovery is going to deliver powerful, predictive insights directly to where people see and understand their data. And we've done this integration in three different ways. The first is a dashboard extension, which I'll go into a little bit more detail with. The second is our new analytics extension service, which is basically going to be a table calculation. The third, and this is going to come sometime in the April timeframe in Tableau Prep, is bulk scoring through Tableau Prep so that you can bring those predictions directly into your data sets in Tableau Prep. So what is Einstein Discovery? Well, Einstein Discovery is this rich, built-on Salesforce predictive analytics engine that doesn't require any coding any knowledge of coding, it is all uh, wizard-based, point and click. And what Einstein will do is we'll take your data, analyze it, build a predictive model on, and then also give you reasons, leading causes, and things on how you can improve that score with that particular model. So the first place we've surfaced this is in a dashboard extension. Now this is gonna be available on Tableau Server, Tableau Online, and Tableau Desktop and it does require 21.1. Now, because this is new capability with Einstein Discovery and integrated into Einstein Discovery, it does require an Einstein Discovery license. So this is a great opportunity for us to have a conversation with you, uh, with your account team to help demo, show, and help you understand the power of Einstein Discovery. But simply put, you're just gonna bring this dashboard extension in and it's going to in real time score against your predictive model and give those insights back to you. Now, the second way we've surfaced this integration is through the new analytics service. And in this case, it's the Einstein Discovery Analytics Service. Now, simply put, what happens is as soon as you build that uh, Einstein Discovery model, and deploy it in Einstein Discovery, you're going to have the ability to actually grab a Tableau table calculation. We've pre-written the syntax for you. You copy it. You bring it into Tableau. That's where all the magic happens. You can bring in parameters. You can bring in data fields. And what will happen is in real time, we will produce that predictive score right there in, in the flow of an al in analytics. Now, again, this does require 21.1, and it does require an Einstein Discovery license, but unlike the dashboard extension, this is only available for Tableau Desktop and Tableau Server. It will be coming to Tableau Online, but that won't be happening until 21.2. Now, let's shift gears a little bit and go to Tableau Prep. Now, we're delivering on something that our users have asked for ever since prep came out, which is the ability to output directly to Microsoft Excel. So no longer will you have to take those CSV files and manually convert them to Excel. They will be right there ready to go in the Excel format. In addition to that, we've added incremental refreshes to the Salesforce data connector in Tableau prep. 
This is huge because as our customers analyze more and more Salesforce data, the ability to link on and incrementally uh, trigger on a field like uh, last modified by will limit or at least reduce the amount of data that comes in during an output refresh. Now, moving on, connecting to data, we constantly with every release add to this list as we get closer to closer to parity. And we've added four additional resources for Tableau Online and Tableau Server that you can now connect to from the server or from online via web. Uh, we will continue to do and add additional resources every release, but we're really excited about these particular four because we're thinking they're going to have a big impact for our customers. Now, another key investment that we've made is on the Azure platform. As more and more customers move to Azure and use Azure AD, the ability and the necessity to be able to use Azure AD to connect through our connectors for Azure SQL database, uh, Azure Data Lake Gen 2, Synapse, and Databricks is critical. And so with this release, we give you that new capability with Azure AD as that authorization capability to these connectors. Now, let's talk to the one that the community is going to go crazy about, and that is quick LODs. We all have to talk about LODs. LODs are probably the most powerful calculation you can do in Tableau. And if you don't know what an LOD is, um, I'd tell you to go Google it, but it's a level of detail calculation. Well, now what will happen is instead of you having to kind of figure out if you've got your curly brackets in the right place and everything like that, if you uh, use your command or control key and select a dimension and then select a measure and then right click on that, you'll actually be able to see here you can create an LOD calculation. We get you started. You can add additional dimensions or you can modify that or you can just take it as is. Uh, so it's a great new feature. Uh, it'll get you out of the box with LOD calculations very fast and you can get started uh, looking at that from an LOD perspective. Now, this next one is actually my favorite and I actually didn't know until I was prepping for this video that this is a feature in desktop that you can actually drag and drop columns and axes in Tableau desktop into different locations. Well, now we've brought that functionality to the web. So now on Tableau Online and Tableau Server, your users are gonna be able to, just like in this video, bring January, put it right next to June and look at those numbers side by side. Uh, there's great features around this in terms of filtering and capabilities like that, but this is just a great little bitty feature that will really delight a lot of your users as they uh, use more and more of Tableau to see and understand their data. Now, I mentioned the Einstein Discovery uh, dashboard extension, but we wanted it to have a great place to land. And so that means that we've now come and re-envisioned the experience for extensions in Tableau Desktop. No longer are you going to have to go out to our extension gallery and download something or search for something. We now give you that experience in the product. So when you actually click on the extension button, You'll actually see the end tool extensions. You'll see all of those that are available to you. Uh, you can quickly download or use any of these extensions. We expect this list to continue to grow and you'll actually be able to see your extensions in this list as well. So it's a great new way to interact and bring extensions more to the forefront of your uh, dashboard building experience. Now on the Ask Data front, there were two really key enhancements that we looked at. One is that as people get up and running with Ask Data, they could use just a little help. And so what we've got now is a pop-up guide for those data sets and those people getting started with Ask Data so that they can see the setup guide, they can look at their usage analytics, they can actually get additional help and even give us some feedback about Ask Data. In addition to that, we heard you. We heard you really loud and clear that you wanted more control over which fields in Ask Data are indexed and which ones are not. And so now through the UI, you can actually go in and deselect the fields that you think don't need to be included in your Ask Data indexing to speed up the performance and to give end users that better user experience. 
Now, if you're like me, you get notifications all over the place. You get them on your phone, you get them in, uh, in, on your computer, you get them in email. And over time, our notification approach has been somewhat fragmented. Well, not anymore. We've actually uh, spent a lot of uh, R&D time and development time developing a brand new unified notifications platform. You'll get the same notification experience, be it in the notification center, action menu, and then better yet, if you have permissions to do it, you can actually opt in and opt out of uh, notifications, both in Tableau and via email. We will continue to invest in this area, but this is a much needed refresh when it comes to our notification engine. Now, the next two are really about licensing and how licensing has changed in the world of cloud and virtual machines. We've actually introduced a new concept here, which is called Authorized to Run, or ATR. Uh, with that, you now have a new service in TSM called the Activation Service. If your Tableau server is internet accessible and can connect to the internet, now you can use the ATR capability when you license your server. And as these non-persistent changes happen in cloud architectures and in VMs, you will continue to be licensed. You won't have to unlicense and license and restart your server from that perspective. We will take care of all of that with this new ATR capability. Well, we didn't stop there. We actually heard you too about uh, downtime licensing, especially when it comes to user licensing and capacity and features and such. So as most of our customers have moved to subscription, the need to be able to apply additional licenses as you grow, as you have new terms, as you uh, have new features that you've acquired, uh, is critical. And so now what you'll able, be able to do with the UI is apply those licenses. You'll see those licenses applied right away. There may be a slight delay in terms of those being activated on your server, but within an hour, they'll become activated and you won't actually have to restart TSM to get those new licenses on board. Now, finally, we have metrics. Metrics is a great feature that we added several releases ago, primarily geared for the mobile experience, but metrics has a great place on Tableau Server and Tableau Online where you can actually monitor and see in real time changes to dashboards that you create a metric for. Well, one of the challenges with metrics was that when you went to go create a metric, what other metrics were on that dashboard? Well, not anymore. When you actually click the metrics button, we'll show you all of the appropriate metrics that are on that dashboard. Maybe you want to reuse one of those or tweak one of those. If not, you'll see the create button at the very top and you can create a new metric uh, to be attached to that dashboard. So that was just a quick run through of some of the new enhancements, innovation, features that you're going to find in 2021.1. I said it again. And I hope that you're as excited as I am about what 2021 looks like for Tableau. We are just getting started. This is just the first release. We still have other releases this year, and we're going to be delivering more and more great new innovation and functionality for you. So I want to say from Tableau, thank you. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for being a customer. Thank you for uh making Tableau center to your data analytics journey. If you have any additional questions, there are resources that are always static and available. These are persistent links. There's always our new features uh, page that you can bookmark. There's the release notes for any new uh, release that we have. And as we get ready to release our next release, which would be 21.2, uh, you'll see that we'll begin to populate our coming soon page with those new features so you can get excited about that. So again, thank you very much. I appreciate your time. I look forward to talking to you again real soon. Happy trails until we see each other again. Stay healthy, stay safe, and have a great 2021.1 product launch.